I think that's okay. Like, I don't fucking get it. No, be read your chat. I'm sorry. No, baby. Um, what are the comments up there somewhere? Let's see if I miss anything else. want to make everybody aware this is not the job that I've talked about previously I'm tossing this out okay the whatever part of the drum set we can get on the drum set a different day my son was that's so oh and again, y'all, I'm about to jump the fuck off the cliff of this comment, or the this drama, but, um, what I was going to say is, oh, that person, y'all are probably gonna know exactly who this is, and I'm not trying to start any type of shit, but like I said, know what the fuck you're saying before you open your fucking mouth, boo-boo. But, hold on, let me find it. that out, right? Y'all all laid off Lisa because of the sister. <laughs> There's no comparison when it comes to mamas. Oh, hold on. Everybody's a great mama in their own way. Please, for the love of God, did I say that? Did I say that? Oh, you're talking about when I was praising my 15, or my oldest daughter um, for being an amazing mom and overcoming the odds and all that shit. Like, no one looks at a pregnant 15-year-old and thinks by the time that child's five, they're going on family vacations to Disney. Like, nobody pictures that. I was praising my daughter's mothering skills, not me. Well, proceed. Bad news, boo-boo. You have to have your children to be a good mama. Somebody's a good mama to them. It's just not you. Sorry, guys. Work phone call already. Anyway, you have to have your children to be a good mama. And I'm glad that your, your uh, daughter is a good mama. That is great. No, honey. She lived with me. It's my oldest child. She's about to be 21. She lived with me when she had her baby, but no, I'm talking about my oldest daughter. Yeah, she is. She's an absolutely amazing mother. And I, what she's referencing, I said, um, like, there is no competition when it comes to being a mother. But if there was, my daughter be winning first place. And and I said exactly what I already said. That, you know, no one looks at a 15-year-old and thinks in five years that they'll be taking... A, a, sorry, 15-year-old who's pregnant and thinks... Hell, no, let's just even add in that. A 15-year-old that got pregnant that does not come from a family with very much money and think in five years they'd be going to Disney. They'd own a car. 
paying all their bills. You know, like, that's just not what you think when you first see it, right? But, <laughs> you can't really compare yourself to other mamas when you don't have any kids to raise, can you? Is that how it works? Can you just lose them and then... No, I don't think that's how it works. I have to look that up. Love the sarcasm, bitch, but guess what? Guess what? I'm sorry, that does sound like a life crisis. Um, hold on, um, I'm doing okay, baby. I just help, still have a headache. Um, her name's Kentucky, bitch. Um, anyway, I tried to tag her in my video and wouldn't let me, but... Does everybody not realize, and because honestly, she wasn't the first one to say something kind of close to this, um... But y'all do realize that I raised my children up to December 2021. You don't realize that? Like, I was a mom for 18 whole motherfucking years. Not only to my children, but to my nephews, to a couple of straight teenagers. Like... Anybody who knows me before these last, I don't know, five years would tell you that I was a good mom. They're 15 and up. No, they're not out, all out on their own. Um, I have, sorry, I have three now that are all um, adults. Um, Mackenzie tw will be 21 in December. Um, Jay just turned 19. And um, Jacob just turned 18. And then they go to 16, 11, 9, and 4. But yeah. Um, Mackenzie lives on her own. She has lived on her own since she was 18. Um... When all of this stuff went down, uh, they actually, I don't know, strangely enough, I'm glad, but strangely enough, they placed, because Jaden was a minor at that time, with her, she had a child at the time too, a little baby, um, with her boyfriend's parents are split up, so like her boyfriend's mom got custody of her, so that like, you know, didn't have to worry about the baby being in the system or anything. And um, Jacob actually lives with Mackenzie. He has for a few years now. And Chloe is with her biological father. And I can't talk about the rest. The last few years weren't very amazing but like before December um, but everybody would tell y'all they did not expect this I was the last person they expected that would be like this um, when some stuff happened with my sister like um, I didn't hesitate. I told him, nope, I'll take all of them. Um, my other sister that's the same age as me did end up taking the girl, but I had my nephews. Um, we, I told the story about, because um, I ran into him at Walmart, my um, oldest stray teenager that I took in. Um, yeah. I ended up taking him in because, um, just long story short, but our story with him, because I have a case and it's 
takes a process. I can't, again, I can't say anything. I'm sorry. I try to be as vague as possible so y'all still aren't like, what the fuck is going on? Because these motherfuckers like to try to tell y'all what's going on even though they don't know. Anyway. What do you mean, Andrea? Sober? Anyway. Um... Oh, the way we ended up with him, um, we, we lived in a trailer park. Him and Jacob, like, played outside a lot together and stuff. Um, he was a little bit older than Jacob, but, um, I did the whole routine. Like, he wanted to go, Jacob wanted to go. Oh, you're good, babe. Um... Yeah, Jacob had asked if he could go stay the night with him, and I did my normal thing, and I was like, as long as I can talk to the parents, and I went up and talked to the parents, I'd never seen them before, they were a lot older, like the dad was my grandparents' age, the mom um, was my dad's age, um, but anyway, I let Jacob stay the night, the next morning, he comes through the front door, I'm making breakfast, I think I was making pancakes. It could have been waffles. Anyway, um, and Jacob was like, I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, I'm hungry. And I was, he's like, I want breakfast. What you cooking? You know? And I'm like, Jacob, that's so rude. Like, that's rude for you just to dip out this early in the morning like that. And he was like, mom, they ain't got no food. I was like, okay, where's your friend? We had Emma already at the time and Emma if she does, hasn't been around you at least 150 times she gonna bark at you um what not being rude me well anyway I don't know um so he, I, he said that his friend was outside on the porch um waiting for him to like eat and come back out and I was like go put him in your room and he can come in too and then he was missing, the teenager was missing a lot of school and shit. And um, every time he'd be home from school, uh, he would like call me and be like, Miss Vicky, do you happen to have, you know, this, this, or this? And I'd be like, baby, are you hungry? Yeah, give me one second, babe. I was like, are you hungry? He'd be like, yeah, I was like, go make yourself a sandwich. Like, and he, even with.